so today we are going to talk about human development you know this is a one of the very much important things which are related to the life of dairy cattle dairy cows and other ruminants because you know rumen is one of the major part of the ruminant stomach here if you can see this you know these diagrams these are the different diagrams of the development of the rumen or this whole diagram is belongs to the compound stomach let's understand like this this area this is the first part of the compound stomach you know compound stomach are the ruminant stomach okay have four compartment have four compartment number 1 is which is called as rumen number 2 reticulum number 3 omasum number 4 abomasum here in this diagrams this we have actually rumen this large area okay this the structure which have honeycomb shape is what reticulum this with the lines we have what omasum this is what abomasum similarly here this one is rumen okay this one is reticulum this one is what omasum this is what abomasum similarly here this is what abomasum this is reticulum this is omasum this one rumen things you need to understand a normal a adult cow a dairy cow are ruminants it could be a large ruminants or small ruminants they have a compound stomach they have a which is also called as a ruminant stomach that stomach have four chambers rumen uh, rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum rumen is one of the major or the main chamber of the uh, of the compound stomach of the cow or sheep or goat and which is responsible for what you know which is responsible for the fermentation of the grass are the cellulose with the help of what microorganism with the help of microorganism but what really happen you know what is mean of calf a new born baby a new born baby of cow of at the birth at the birth up to the first week after the birth or up to the birth week when the cow or calf bonds when the calf born they do not have full develop rumen they do not have full develop rumen in other sense they are not at that stage which state at the birth they cannot called as rumen true ruminants they cannot called as reason is that when you look on the stomach a ruminant stomach of one week old calf or the calf which is just born you will see the situation like this all the total volume the total capacity of the stomach the 60% is abomasum at that stage the largest part of the stomach is what abomasum and the 5% reticulum 10% abomasum 25% is rumen with the time go on after the first week okay up to the 12 week or maybe up to the you know uh, is 1 to 3 week this stage like this after 3 week there will be a gradually increase in the size of rumen there will be the increase or in other sense development of the rumen begins rumen increase their size it doesn't mean the other structure lose their size but point is that rumen start to increase its size rumen start to increase its size it start to increase its capacity start to increase its surface area so look here after to, up to the 12 week okay you will have this picture like this 
the now the total volume of the stomach 65 percent is human 65 percent is human. when you look on the stomach of a mature animal mature calf okay calf one week 12 week and at the maturity you will find the human is now now human is the largest part of the compound stomach or the ruminant stomach here at the birth okay the human is the sorry the abomasum is the largest part of the compound stomach so this is what is going on this is a, this is the development of the human which is actually postnatal development this is actually postnatal development this is which development you must know this you know this is what post natal development this is happening after the birth this is happening think you need to understand again at the time of birth calf have stomach like this the largest area the largest capacity the largest compartment is what abomasum but with the time of 3 to 4 or 6 week okay this is going to be changed human start to grow and finally at the maturity you can say human is now is the biggest part or the largest part of the ruminant so this change is actually we study this is known as human development which is actually postnatal development which is actually this development you know in dairy sector especially in non commercial dairy have lot of importance because stomach is a host for the digestion of food and also the human is the host for what for the absorption of the nutrition house for absorption of the nutrition in ruminant stomach you know human uh, do lot of absorption of the nutrients so this a good developed human a good developed human is required for a healthy calf it's required for a healthy calf and it also depend how you can influence how you can do some nutritional tactics to increase to fast the development of the human what really happen if the human fast uh, sorry human develop early it will give benefit to the commercial dairy farms you are getting my point so this development you know in two sense is important number one it will give you idea what feed you will give your calf in early stages you know the structure of stomach you know at that time the active part is abomasum here is the largest part is the human so you can design nutrition like this and you can also you know do what human development fast with some techniques as early you do human development as early you can do weaning as early you, the human will be develop as early you can do weaning point number 2 you need to understand what actually develop and how development occur if you looking for when, when this human is increasing size what different you will find you know the human the epithelium of human adult cow have the epithelium of human which we called as stratified squamous crit epithelium you know that that epithelium actually have so many papillas they have so many if this this is belongs to adult mature cow this diagram so what does it mean this whole inner surface area have so many am i right okay so the number one task in the development of human we have what the development of epithelium because if you look here in that human in also in that human this surface will be smooth the surface will be you will not find ruminal papilla you will not find ruminal papilla you will not find at the early stage at the birth the surface of the human will be remain what you are getting my point when development occur in human what really happen actually there is a development of epithelium actually there is a development of epithelium which it's actually forming this papillae if you observe in the mature cow you will find so many papillae if you are looking one day old calf the human of one day old calf the surface will be smooth our target in human development is that 
as soon as possible this smooth surface will convert into the remnant papillae why there is so many reason number one reason remnant uh, remnant papillae is the house for microorganism mark microorganism bacteria fungi protozoa which is known as the part of human they actually there is they are the located inside the papillae the house for that microorganism is that papilla so that's why we want this grow fast number two important things these papillas are actually doing what absorption of the nutrition they are doing what absorption of the nutrition so that's why we also want this papilla grow quickly or early so in development what actually happen that this human increasing their surface area which is actually achieving with the development of epithelium which is actually achieving with the development of the epithelium which is actually forming the many papillae papillae that's clear this is an important thing you need to understand number two things what really happen you know this diagram is actually one day old diagram in other sense or the first in uh, the first week of the cow uh, of the cough sorry so here you can label again this part will be what human this will be reticulum okay this one omasum and this one abomasum and this is esophagus actually this is what you know what <coughs> what is the first diet of a calf day old calf milk you know the word colostrum what is a colostrum ha uh, okay colostrum is a type of milk is okay no problem point is that milk is a liquid point is that milk is a liquid so in other sense the early diet of the calf is a liquid diet am i right there is a term you must know that which is called as gastric groove which is called as this gastric groove have so many names it is also called as reticulum groove okay it is also called as esophageal groove from esophagus okay esophageal groove from esophagus so these are name of a one groove which one gastric groove reticulum groove esophageal groove you know what really happen why i am putting lot of stress on this because if you look here this thing you know these dots